Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Grande here and I miss you all so much. I hope you're all doing well at home with your families, but I know soon we're going to see each other soon in school. Okay, but since you're here now, I have a spring story for us because this week is our spring theme, okay? So at the end, I'm going to ask you all what you saw in the story that reminds you of our spring day today okay so let's go come and read with me here we go in the beginning there was nothing nothing to hear nothing to feel nothing to see only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing but God was there God had a wonderful plan I'll take this emptiness, said God, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light. And out of nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a mommy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke, that's all, and whatever he said, it happened. So boys and girls, what do you see on this page that looks like something outside that happens in spring? That's right, it's a bird. And birds make their nests in trees. And this is when the baby eggs start hatching. God said, hello light, and light shone into the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello sea, hello sky, and a great space opened up wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello land, and there splashing up through the oceans came cliffs, mountains, sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello trees, God said. Hello grass and flowers and everything burst into life. He made buds bud, shoots shoot, flowers flower. You're good, God said, and they were. What do you see in here, boys and girls? That reminds us of spring. That's right, flowers, grass. It's beautiful. Hello stars, God said. Hello sun, hello moon, and whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and round, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said, and they were. See, that's our solar system. Hello birds, God said, and with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the sky. Hello fish, God said, blub, 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 there they go swimming, and darting and dashing and wriggling. Fish filled the sea. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello animals, and everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with so much noise. Can you boys and girls growl like a lion and tiger? Roar! Rawr. What about like a monkey? Can you do a monkey sound? Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Great sounds, boys and girls. God said, you're good, and they were. God saw all that he made, and he loved them, and they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. They would be his children, and the world would be their perfect home. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. You look like me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever made. God loved them with all his heart, and they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind and the trees, the wonderful song of love to the one who made them. 
Their hearts were filled with happiness, and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made perfect, he said, and it was. But all the stars and the mountains and oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them always. The end. And boys and girls, he loves you and me too. We're all his children. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Did you enjoy it? Great. Well, can you tell me some things in this story that you saw that looks like our spring day outside today? Yes, there's flowers and trees and birds, right? So I hope you enjoy this spring day and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.